Hey there, just thought I would check in and show you what I'm working on, which is a cement fresco called Grace. It's pretty big. Um, it's a work in progress and, hi Pookie. Uh, I'm not really sure how it's gonna turn out in the end. Um, it pretty much evolves as I go along. Would you like to say hi Pookie? Say hello to Pookie. Here's Pookie. Okay, she's not happy. All right. Anyway, so um, it started off as one panel that was going to be just horizontal, and the movement that I got was this, this kind of shape. And the board that I bought was actually these two boards, which is measures 122 by 122 centimeters, so um, it's somewhere in the 12 square feet range. And it kind of evolved from one horizontal panel to two horizontal panels. And then when I was cleaning my workspace, I had to put the panels out in the hallway to um, give myself a little more space to tidy up because I'm working in a, a really tiny place right now. And um, when I came out into the hallway to bring the panels back in and put them on my workbench, uh, this is what they look like they were, you know, I'd place them down vertically and I really liked how that looked. So this is the first layer. Um, cement fresco is um, basically just painting with, I use pigments, but painting with pigments on wet cement. And uh, for me, it's all about going with the flow. It's all about just seeing what will happen, what will evolve, and I find that the most beautiful things happen just from serendipity, and these panels being the way they are, that was also serendipity. So I'm curious to see what happens next. Um, this is just one color of pigment straight out of the bottle. A lot of times I will mix colors. I work primarily with the primaries, red, yellow, and blue. Sometimes I add in a little black, but I'll just mix them to make magenta, bright green, whatever color I feel like. And the thing that I do with cement fresco is I just let the colors mix however the hell they want. Um, it's about letting go of my inner control freak, and I find that when I do that, the coolest things come out that I couldn't possibly have planned. So we'll see what happens with these. Stay tuned. Um, this is just the blue and the, the white cement that I use. I used a trowel this time. Sometimes I use my gloved hands. Sometimes I use an old toothbrush. I do pretty much whatever comes to mind. And I know that the next step will be to paint some uh, transparent uh, holographic acrylic paint on it in some places and we'll see how that turns out. But anyway, this is what they look like so far and We'll see how it turns out. See ya. Bye.